Davis Show, I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show, starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. Day, honey. How'd you do in the test, dear? Huh? <laughs> honey, you're throwing away the best part. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, Beverly. Who is he? No, I just fell at school. Who? Tom Peters. Oh? Well, what's bothering you? Is Tom stuck on another girl? Oh, no, I think he likes me. But he's so darn shy, he won't do anything about it. He spends most of his time with Agnes. Agnes? Yeah, it's his hot rod. <laughs> oh, well, Agnes is his car. <laughs> well, what's a hot rod got that you haven't got? Tom. <laughs> yeah, I've asked him to come over, but he's always too busy with that car. Well, you just leave it to your big sister, honey. I'll get that Tom Peters over here if I have to push that hot rod all the way. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Say, I'm looking for a 642 Elm. Some friends of mine live there. Oh, well, that's across the street. This is 643. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what's the name of your friends? Uh, Martinson. Uh, you wouldn't know them. Uh, they just moved in. Say, isn't this a beautiful car you have? You really think so? Oh, I should say I do. How fast will it go? About 140. Is that right? Say, if you're really interested, I'll show you some of the things I've done to the car. Oh, I'd love to. Say, you're all right. Most girls have nothing on their minds but dates. They don't even want to fool around with the car. Afraid they might get dirty. Say, would you hold this a minute? <laughs> By the way, you want to see a beautiful job of reworked suspension? I uh, can't think of anything that I'd rather see. Uh, okay. Get under. Get under? Oh, sure, get under. The rework, well. over to the house tonight, and you and my sister and I could talk about cars. Okay, I'm always glad to talk about cars. Well, but... Say, uh, why don't you take a look at that extra cross member? <laughs> hey, you fixed the leak. My oil pan isn't dripping. It isn't? No. How did you ever do it? Just use my head, that's all. <laughs> I'll see you tonight, then. It's 133 Stone Drive. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, well, come in, Tom. Well, thanks. My, you look nice all dressed up. Oh, you're just saying that. No, really. Well, come on, uh, sit down on the couch. Oh. Well, you know, a, a girl could really become very fond of you. You really think so? Well, I should say I do. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. There's a certain girl who thinks a great deal of you. There is? Yep, and she's right here in this house. Well, uh, girls are okay, but, well, I don't want to give up my hot rod. Well, you don't have to. If you get the right kind of girl, uh, she could share your hobby with you. Gee, 
It would make it quicker to change a tire. <laughs> you see, she's crazy about you, but she's too bashful to tell you right out. Oh, I get it. Well, this girl doesn't have to be bashful anymore because, well, I kind of like her myself. Oh, that's fine. Beverly! Here's Tom. Oh, hello. Hello, Tom. Well, it's getting pretty late. I think I'll go to bed. Bed? Why, it's only 8.30. Is it that late? I'm so tired I can hardly keep my eyes open. You do look tired, Joni. She does not. Why, she looks as bright and sparkling as a chrome-plated cylinder head. Oh, well, thanks, but I feel more like a second-hand battery that needs recharging. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> well. Well. How have you been? Fine. Donde esta su hermano Juan? What? And that's something I learned in Spanish today. It's, uh, where is your brother John? I haven't got a brother John. No, I was just trying to make conversation. Why did your sister leave us? Well, you know how it is with older people. They have to get their sleep. She's not old. Good night. Here's your milk, dear. It'll help you go to sleep. I was asleep. It'll help you go back to sleep. Look, Johnny, will you stop supervising this romance and go to bed? Oh, I can't, dear. I know just how Beverly feels. Why, when I was her age, I was in love with a handsome boy. Well, I'll just forget about it. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who was this handsome guy that you were crazy about? Oh, it was so far back, Brad. Was it, uh, Charlie Gillis? No. Was it, uh, Freddie Beamish? How about a cheese sandwich, Brad? I don't want a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Was it, uh, Stanley Fenstermarker? No. Oh, uh, sit down, Tom. I've just got to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you hold this two minutes for me, Tom? Sure. You have to get the seat down in the place over here, Nick. <laughs> yeah, fine. Oh, uh, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't tell me it was Harry DeMuth. What was Harry DeMuth? Glad you had his crush on. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Harry was much too old for me. He happens to be exactly the same age as me. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It wasn't Paul Trevor. No, it wasn't. Johnny, I demand to know the name of this person that you admit that you were once in love with. Tell me the idiot's name. Oh, Brad, it was you. Me? <laughs> yes, dear. Oh, and I remember how I suffered when I thought you weren't interested in me. You know, that's just how Beverly feels now. Ah, uh, Joni, honey. He's gone. <laughs> Did he make a date? Did he say anything? Is he coming back? 
He told me that for the first time in his life, he was in love. Oh, Beverly, that's wonderful. Except it isn't me he loves. It isn't? Well, tell me who it is, and I'll scratch your eyes out. It's you. Well, wait till I get a hold. Hmm? Here you are, lady, some flowers. Flowers? For whom? I don't know. All it says in the envelope is, to the glamorous goddess with the golden hair. <laughs> well, that narrows it down, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, flowers. Who are they for? <laughs> to the... No, you wouldn't believe it. Huh? I guess they're for me, honey. To Joan. <laughs> this is from Brad. You are the one woman, the only woman in the world. I admire you more than words can tell, though I've only known you for one day. <laughs> this is from Brad? It's from Tom. I told you he's in love with you. Well, isn't it? Your devoted slave, Tom. Well, what does my big sister have to say now? Well, just what I said before. This is utterly ridiculous. By that, Tom is a silly, foolish, irresponsible, thoughtless boy. And all I can say for him is that I admire his taste in women. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have joked about it. Does he really mean that much to you, dear? Oh, well, Beverly, don't you worry, dear. I I've always taken care of you, haven't I? Remember when we were kids and you wanted those roller skates? I helped you get them. A and then when you wanted that doll carriage, I helped you get that. And when you wanted that bicycle, I helped you get that, too. If Tom only had wheels on him, I'd know what to do. <laughs> But I never wanted anything as much as I want Tom. And you've got him. But I don't want him. Why, he's only interested in me because, well, he thinks that older women are more sophisticated and more glamorous. <laughs> hmm. I think I know how to handle this situation. Beverly, I'm going to give that Tom a rude awakening. <laughs> Uh, information. Uh, I'd like the number of Tom uh, Peters. Uh, Peters. Tom Peters. A six four three Elm. A six four three Elm. A Dunbar three four nine six five. A Dunbar three four nine six five. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. It's for squares. But what can you expect from a town like this? You know, Joan, I've never met a woman like you before. Uh, last night, uh, after I went home, I couldn't get you off my mind. I tossed and turned and twisted. I didn't know what to do. Uh, uh, finally, I, I got up and I went out and adjusted the tappets on my car. Did that help? Oh, yes. Now the motor runs much quieter, and there's lots more compression. <laughs> oh, you're all flattered, Tom, comparing me to a valve job. <laughs> uh, say, I have an idea, Tom. Uh, let's rush our dinner and have coffee elsewhere. I know a divine little place where you sit on cushions and drink Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee? Oh, yes, thick and sweet. The way I used to drink my coffee in Istanbul. Istanbul? Oh, exotic Istanbul. I left him standing in the rain. What a mess he was. Oh, poo. But that's another story. <laughs> oh, a spider! Oh, it's the dangerous kind, too. What will I know? I will not go at your eyelash. <laughs> oh, so it is. Oh, Tom, I... I didn't want you to know my little secret. But I assure you, Tom, it's the only thing about me that's artificial. <laughs> well... Shall we order? <laughs> I 
eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I have a slight case of uh, stigmatism. <laughs> Certainly printing the menus on nice soft paper these days. But Joan. <laughs> we'll have time for romance later, dear. Much later. <laughs> See now. Uh, <clears throat> May I take your orders, please? Oh, yes, I'll let... <laughs> Let's see. I'll have the uh, uh, the soup du jour and the uh, uh, eggs benedict and the uh, uh, Romanoff caviar and the magnum of Paul Roger. I'll have the same. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 all girls our age have these little secrets. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no. Not at all. <clears throat> How about a roll? No, thank you. I'm not very hungry. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I've lost my pivot tooth. I told that Dennis. I said, this time you put it in, boy. Make it stick. Now, where could I... Could... Uh, pardon me, folks, but did you happen to see a pivot tooth? Well, if anything bites you under the table, it belongs to me. Is that a shame? I tell you, you can't trust these dentists these days. And the money you have to pay for a thing like this. There you are. How are you? Johnny, what have you done to yourself? Well, I... You never look better in your whole life. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, how's, uh, Brad? Uh, Brad? Oh, the Brad's delicious. And so is the butter. Have some, dear. Bye. Oh, uh, Johnny, uh, aren't you, uh, you know... Very important man. Superior court judge, friend of Brad's. I'm here on a case, you see. Uh, it's my veterinarian. Takes care of all my horses. Joey, maybe we ought to dance. Dance? Oh, I'd love to, Tom. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that? That's my mustard plaster. You are a mustard plaster? Yes, I had to. You see, I couldn't find a plug for my heating pad. <laughs> Everybody, conga! Sit down. I don't trust this thing at all. It goes out all the time like that. But, Joey, I thought we were going to dance and, and have fun. Well, I'm sorry I'm spoiling your evening, Tom. Oh, that's all right. No, I, I just think I'm all wrong for you. <laughs> now that you know all about me after everything that happened tonight, I guess it's better if we just don't see each other anymore. Don't, no. Don't say goodbye. Just go. Go. Oh. <laughs> still here, huh? Yes. Johnny, nothing's changed. Uh, I still feel just the same way about you as I did. Yeah. You do? Sure. I don't think any of the less of my hot rod because it's old. And to me, you're just like my hot rod. 
Well, it rattles and, and it loses a fender or, or a bumper or something like that, but, well, it's dependable and, and it's reliable and, and, well, it has character. And that's the way I feel about you, Joan. How do you like that? I'm the last of the hot rod mama. <laughs> Why did you let her do it? Tony was only trying to help me. Well, she should have been back before this. Where's Tom? He went home. Well, tell me, did you fix everything? Yeah, we finally came to an understanding. Good. Now we're engaged. <laughs> Now, did you get the two Montgomery kids and the little Wilson kid? Yeah, and little Gloria, too. They're all in the kitchen with Joni. Well, I'll show you how things get done when a man handles them. Oh, uh, what time is that lovesick kid getting here? Any minute now. Boy, I hope this works. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. I'll get you out of it. Oh, and if you do, honey, I promise you I'll never get engaged again. <laughs> there he is. Well, you uh, let him in, and you take care of the kids out of the kitchen. <clears throat> Well, hello, Tom. Let me look at you. Gee, you look wonderful. <laughs> well, I don't believe you two have met. Uh, Tom Peters, and this is Brad Stevens, my husband. Your husband? I didn't know you were married, Joan. Oh, must have slipped my mind. I'm terrible at detail. You must be the other man. Look, Mr. Stevens. No Stevens, sense I... making a scene. Let's be civilized. Take her, my boy, with my blessings. Oh, Brad, you're being so noble. It's nothing. You'll write. Often. Air mail. Yes. Shall we go? Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, of course. Please. <laughs> You've been grand through the whole ugly mess. <laughs> Haven't you forgotten something else? Oh, yes. Little Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Oh, Granny, my darling. And uh, what about little Rodney? <laughs> little Rodney? Oh, yes. We can't leave little Rodney. I'm his mother, and he's like a son to me. A Rodney. A Rodney, old boy. Oh, Rodney, dear. And uh, what about the rest? The rest? There's more? Oh, yes. Let's take them all. For sentimental reasons. Oh, uh, Natalie, Melissa, Rosa, Mel, Lynch, Peter, Oh, you are wonderful. Here you are. Here's the little Thanks a lot, children. Oh, you. Well, uh, now that it's all fixed up for you and Tom, what about Beverly? Who do you think's waiting for him out in his hot rod? <laughs> Told you I'd take care of it, didn't I? Oh, you sure did. You know, that Tom was a sweet boy. Oh, but what a bother he was. Well, now that it's all over, uh, you know, you could have told him that you were married in the first place. Why didn't you do that? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Now, why in the world didn't I tell that handsome boy that I was married? Oh, 